Today we're going to look at an activity called Design a Snail. We're going to be utilizing right triangles to create a snail shape. When you look at the directions, you're going to see start with your page landscape and draw a one inch vertical segment in the middle of the page about four inches from the bottom of the page. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a sheet of paper and I'm going to turn it landscape I'm going to grab my ruler and about in the center of the page I'm going to put my ruler up where the four inches is aligned with the bottom of the page in the center and then I'm going to mark a one inch segment. It's a good idea to label that segment just so you remember it was one inch. Alright, then the next direction we're going to have is we're going to use a protractor to create a one inch segment extending from the top at a 90 degree angle. So from the top of my segment, I'm going to take my protractor, I'm going to line it up with my segment, parallel to my segment, and then I'm going to put the center at the top of that segment. Then I'm going to look at the 90 degrees and I'm going to make a mark on my paper. That's going to measure or align where I need to align the ruler. I'm going to align the ruler with the top of the segment and that mark I just made and then I'm going to make a one inch segment just to the one. Mark it as one inch so I remember what I did. I'm also going to mark that that was my 90 degree angle. Alright, my third step is to create a right triangle by connecting the endpoints. We're going to be drawing the hypotenuse as shown here in this example. So I'm going to use my ruler, always use your ruler, and I'm going to connect the ends of my one inch segment creating that hypotenuse. Now just so I know how long my hypotenuse is, it's a right triangle so I can use the Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared where my two legs are both one and I'm trying to find the hypotenuse c. So one plus one, right, one squared is one, that's two equals c squared. I have to unsquare it, so I'm going to square root, and I'm going to leave it as that exact answer. So I'm going to leave it as the square root of 2 equals c. I'm going to mark that in my picture, the square root of 2. Alright, then going on, the next step from the bottom, the unmarked corner of the triangle, we're going to use a protractor to construct another one inch segment perpendicular, 90 degrees, to the hypotenuse of the triangle. So to that hypotenuse I just drew, that square root of 2. So at the bottom of the 1 inch that I originally drew, and then parallel to the, or along with the hypotenuse is how I'm going to line up my protractor. And I'm going to come out 90 degrees from that hypotenuse and make a mark. That's going to show me where I need to line up my ruler with the bottom of that first original segment and I want to go one inch towards that mark I made to show a 90 degree angle. And that was one inch so I'm going to go ahead and label it. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a second right triangle by connecting the endpoints and drawing the new hypotenuse as shown in this figure right here. So I'm going to use my ruler, always use your ruler so you have a nice straight edge, and I'm going to connect those endpoints. Alright, let's see how long that hypotenuse is. Okay, we're going to mark the angles, the new triangles as shown. So I just need to add that mark in the center that I haven't added, that arc. Okay, and then we're going to notice this is not to show congruence, it's just kind of to help us so we don't line up with the wrong section. Okay, what is the exact length of this new hypotenuse? And then we're going to label our side lengths. So again, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This time my two legs for my a squared are going to be the square root of 3 and the 1 inch. When I square the squ square root of 2, sorry, when I square the square root of 2, the square cancels out. So that's just 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3 equals c squared. I need to unsquare, so I'm going to square root both sides so that I get the square root of 3 equals c. And I'm going to label that in my picture. Alright, 
The next thing we're going to do is from the unmarked corner of the triangle, we're going to repeat steps 5 through 6 until we have a hypotenuse that is the square root of 17. So from the bottom of that hypotenuse that I just did, the unmarked corner, I'm going to line up that protractor with that hypotenuse. I'm going to mark 90 degrees. And then I'm going to make a one inch segment going from the bottom of that hypotenuse towards that mark that I just made so that I make a one inch 90 degree segment. I'm going to mark my angle as 90. I'm going to mark my side as one inch and then I'm going to draw in my hypotenuse. All right, so now when I look at this one, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, my two legs are going to be the one inch and the square root of three. So I'm going to have one squared plus the square root of three squared equals c squared. The square root of three squared just cancels to three. So one plus three equals c squared is four equals c squared. I'm going to unsquare root. When I unsquare root, notice I have the square root of 2, the square root of 3, the square root of 4. So there's a pattern there. So I know next I'm going to square root of 5, and then square root of 6, and then square root of 7, and so on and so forth. Remember, we're going to be going to the square root of 17, at least. Okay, but a unique thing here at the square root of 4 is we know that C is going to actually just equal 2. So this is a really great place to kind of pause and see if we're on the right track with our measurements because this should be 2 and our units are inches. So if we look, do we have 2 inches? Yes, we have exactly 2 inches. I'm on the right track. So if you're a little bit off, that's okay as long as you're not like off by more than a quarter of an inch or so. Okay, so again, I'm going to continue this process. I'm going to line up with that bottom corner of the hypotenuse, mark my 90 degrees, then towards that mark that I just made, I'm going to line up with the bottom of the hypotenuse, mark a 90 degree segment, one inch, mark my 90, and then sketch my hypotenuse in. And now I know that this hypotenuse is going to be the square root of not 2, 3, 4, but the square root of 5. Okay? So then I'm going to line up with that next protractor and I'm just, or that hypotenuse, and I'm just going to continue this process all the way around. Square root of 6, square root of 7, square root of 8. Then when I get to this one, the square root of 9, this is another good place to pause at the square root of 9 because we know that the square root of 9 is equal to 3. So I can pause here and I can check to make sure that that's 3 inches. So I'm going to grab my ruler and I'm going to look and make sure that it lines up with 3 inches. I am on the right track. I'm going to continue square root of 10, square root of 11, square root of 12, square root of 13, square root of 14, square root of 15, and then again, the square root of 16 is another great place to pause and check because the square root of 16, we should know, is 4. So I can check to make sure that that is 4 inches. So I can line up my ruler and see, am I at 4 inches? Yes, I am perfectly at 4 inches. Again, if you're a little bit off, that's okay. We're all human. Okay, then I'm going to continue. Remember, we're lining up with the hypotenuse. We're going to line up that protractor with the hypotenuse and the one inch segment. Mark our 90, and we're going to make our one inch segment. Bottom of the one inch and the hypotenuse. Make a new one inch. and then connect to the center. And we know that should be the square root of 17. Okay, remember the square root of 17 is, was our goal. 
was to get to the square root of 17. So at this point, I am done with my snail. However, if you want to close in that gap and you want to fit one more in there, I am perfectly fine with that. So you can always add one more in there just to close that up. Line up with that hypotenuse. Mark your 90 degree angle. Make your one inch segment that is perpendicular to the hypotenuse that you last drew. And when you close it, depending on how accurate you are, it should line up pretty close to the beginning or it might overlap it just a hair and that's okay. Square root of 18 for me. Okay, once you're done, then you can turn that in, or if you're interested in getting some extra credit, you can decorate it. I've seen people use this right side up, upside down, to the side, however you want to, to decorate it. Um, but if you do, for extra credit, give your snail a body, decorate and color it, you will get some extra credit added to this assignment. For an example of kind of what you're looking for, you can always Google cartoon snails and you'll see lots of examples. Here's one that is turned in by a student of 